the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Welcome to another episode of Seeking His Face. It's been a beautiful Holy Week, Seeking His Face, and we've been following along together 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Let's read it again just to kind of put it in our mind, in our heart. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. We talked already about we're His people. We belong to Him. He engraved us in the palm of His hand. That humility will lead us to that healing. And it's the hardest thing to be honest about ourselves and our weaknesses. Today, which is kind of the, the goal of the week also, is to pray and seek His face. God's face is what everybody's been missing all year. Been kind of busy, not really being busy in COVID, but being busy, but we missed His face. We missed the reason why probably COVID came to attract us back to His throne and to, uh, back to His face. And, and, um, and that's why we're here today. So today's readings are, are really focused on that and how we can pray and seek His face, those two things together. And they're linked together, praying and seeking His face. So let's go through one of the verses of the day. It's focused on Mark chapter 11, verse 17. My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of thieves. And really, God doesn't want us just to pray, but to be a house of prayer. And it hurts when you hear den of thieves. We know so many times we've been affected by darkness, and that's the den of thieves. Each one of us has been affected by certain darknesses and secrets in our life. But God says, I want you to be a house of prayer. When we get to that part where it says, pray and seek His face, Prayer is the way and the connection to seek His face. Now, a lot of the readings of the day were, were hard and were challenging. Uh, one of them was about Adam, how he lost the paradise. And in the ninth hour of the Monday service, we see that there's an exposition where Adam is crying unto God and God responding in this kind of interaction between God and Adam. Adam's like, I'm sorry, God. I, I, forgive me, God, and God is talking to him. And this interaction is so beautiful because Adam realized he had something like the den of thieves, and, and, he, and God wanted to make him a house of prayer. And that's really hard because all the readings in the morning are, are really challenging. It, it's almost like we forsook God or we left God, and, and it, it's hurtful, and, and it makes us wonder, God, sorry, did we do something against you? Did we hurt you? Did we forsake you? The way back for Adam, or the way back for all of us, is pray, seek His face. Seek His face. And we saw a lot of the readings about being fruitful and there was no fruit. All these things make us wonder, God, is that me? Have been I with all year from you? But this week, I want to pray and seek your face. And not just this week, God, but I want it to be a way of life. And one of the readings from Amos chapter 5, verse 6, Seek the Lord and live or the house will break out in a fire. And we said earlier, we don't want a house of fire. We don't want our house to be a den of thieves. We want a house of prayer. God doesn't want you to pray. He wants you to have a life of prayer, a house of prayer. When you go home, it's a house of prayer. Wherever you are, it's, it's a life of prayer. And that's what God has been trying to do. And the problem is, our house has been a house of panic, worry, a house of anger, a house of selfishness, a house with no patience. God says, no, I'm coming to clean that. I'm coming to make a house of prayer in each one of our lives. And He'll do it. And one of the great verses that we heard is Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. You will have them because He will do it. But we must seek His face. The last thing I'll say to you today is there's a nice story about a woman and it wasn't so nice that she was poor and she couldn't afford to, any food. But she went into the grocery store one day, and this is a long time ago. She went into the grocery store and she told the manager, please, I have no money to buy food. And he said, you must have something. Give me anything you have. And she said, all I have is prayer. So joking around, he said, okay, write it down on a piece of paper. So she wrote it down on a piece of paper. And back then they had those weigh scales. She said, I'll weigh it and see if you can get any food. And he was just joking around with her. So she wrote on the, on the paper a prayer. 
and she gave it to him and he put it in the weight scale. Then he started putting food on the other side and he put more food and he put more food. That piece of paper was able to carry all the food that she needed for that day. And the grocery store manager was surprised. He gave her the food and she left. And I just want to say, I know this story seems far-fetched. Pray and seek his face. Anything's possible. This week, we are looking for that healing. We are his, we must humble ourselves, and we must be a house of prayer. Not just pray, be a house of prayer. And who knows what God can do this week in our lives. Let's look forward to the rest of the week. Thank you for enjoying the session with us, and glory be to God forever. Amen. <music>